Hi, welcome to Sugar Free. This is the Daily Tarot for Friday the 31st of December 2021. Happy New Year. Um, I've shuffled so I will cut. This is a major arcana reading. The Lovers. Moon in Reverse. Strength in the reverse again. Okay. Right. Well, yesterday's reading was very much focused on some new kind of species of growth coming into our lives. Today, we've moved on to the matter of um, deciding what we're going to do with that. And it looks like I would say basically, do we run this, run with this? Do we pick this up and run with it or not? Um, this card, the lovers, used to be called the choice. And it really is an either or card. It's the card of um, picking one option over another or one over all other options. And it's very interesting because, I mean, that sounds sort of quite quite a dull thing. It's like, yeah, I choose this one and not that one. OK, but we have this kind of wild card factor here of the little Eros, the little Kama, which is where uh, the word or the phrase Kama Sutra comes from. The spirit of desire here. Involved somewhere along the line in every either or choice okay you take your choice and then you've taken your choice and you can't go back and undo the choice you can kind of choose again I mean we're always choosing but when we choose this over that we've done something and we've set something in motion and we choose this over that um, based on essentially what we want and there it is. And it's blindfold. OK, it doesn't take any account for kind of what we should do or what we have to do. It is purely about what we want. And that is the root of all karmic stuff. So there's a choice being made here. We have the moon in reverse. Um, so I think perhaps something that was obscured, something that wasn't clear, something that was veiled, something that seemed to be sort of kind of floating into vision and then going out of vision again, and it's all a bit unclear. That's, that's what we're working with, and it's in the reverse. So all of those things are being veiled, being seen at one remove, being seen in a mirror. Um, being seen as a reflection of something, perhaps the wrong way round. All of that stuff is in the reverse. But I think, I think the fact that things have been veiled, have been unclear, have been seen at one remove, have been seen perhaps in reverse or um, a, as a reflection of something is still kind of having an influence on how we see things. So I see this as a very recent change. And also, I think perhaps we have discovered something down in the uh, in the kind of psychic basement <laughs> of us, which is represented by this lion here, this wild creature, this unmediated, untamed aspect. We've come across something or perhaps we've dealt with it because that is there in the reverse as well. So this is there's something quite raw about this about this choice that we're taking here, or this choice that is presented to us. And um, it's like we've sort of come out into a very, very bright space and we're sort of blinking a bit and it's a bit difficult to see what we're actually looking at, what we're actually dealing with. Because this kind of thing um, is sometimes quite disturbing to deal with when we find out that, that, that or when we realise and acknowledge that there's some sort of impulse driving us. And I do wonder whether there's a link between this lion and his cherub. Um, 
perhaps we've sort of taken on board that we are more or perhaps less driven by something than we thought we were. Um, and kind of coming out of this weird, cloudy, kind of half obscured, somewhat occult kind of energy here, blinking out into this very bright light that we see here. Bit of a raw matter on the table here. Okay, we've got Empress in reverse. Okay. Temperance in reverse. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, there's a kind of, there's a doubt in us. There's a doubt in us about this and a feeling of instability. The doubt I'm getting uh, from the Empress in reverse, the feeling of instability, not being sure of the ground under our feet from temperance in the reverse. Ah, but never fear. High Priestess, Mama Shakti is here. Um, whatever we choose in this, um, we are informed by our higher self and our highest self. That's what the High Priestess represents. And I really do mean our highest self. Not thoughts about this, that or the other, not even thoughts really, just knowing, absolute knowing. So um, the High Priestess is here to invite us to um, choose with confidence and um, to acknowledge our doubts and our feeling of instability and um, perhaps give ourselves a little bit of time. But I think whatever we are dealing with here is kind of timeless. Now, that doesn't mean that, that we can choose and then later on kind of cancel that choice. And I mean, you know, we, could, we can always choose the opposite, but that doesn't negate the fact that we chose the thing that we chose when we chose it. But there is a timelessness about this and um, something uh, perhaps, I was going to say mysterious, but it, it, it's, it's not mysterious. It's elemental. OK, <laughs> this is an elemental matter for us. So do have um, confidence that it is our higher self, your higher self that is informing this choice, however much time you want to take over it. And frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if you did want to take time over it because of these two cards here Oops. and these two cards here. But the High Priestess tells us that we are in a safe place with this. OK, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.